In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to view your IP address and server name on Hostinger. It's a simple enough process that we're going to walk through step by step, so let's get started. First things first, you want to head over to the Hostinger website. If you're not already familiar with Hostinger, it's a platform that makes it incredibly easy to bring your ideas to life online with a website. Once there, locate the login button on the homepage. You'll find it typically at the top right corner. Click login and enter your account credentials to access your dashboard. Now, if you haven't yet created an account, you'll need to sign up first, but for today, let's assume you already have an existing account. Once logged in, you'll be directed to your account's homepage. Here, the layout should be pretty straightforward. You'll see all your active services listed. What you're looking for is the Manage option. Locate the domain you are interested in, and you will see a Manage button along the listing. Click on that. This will bring you to a more detailed management section dedicated to your domain. The next step is to focus on DNS settings, which stands for Domain Name System. To find this, look for the option labelled DNS Name Servers. By selecting this, we'll be on our way to revealing the IP address and server information for your domain. After clicking on DNS Name Servers, you're nearly there. You should now see various settings related to your domain's DNS records. Here, Hostinger provides an option called Change Name Servers. Click on this. Don't worry, you're not actually looking to change anything right now. What's key is just accessing this section as it will present you with the necessary information pertaining to your domain's current configuration, including the IP address and server name you're seeking. Within this change name servers section, you'll be able to see the name servers currently set up for your domain. Looking at these, you can find the server names directly. The corresponding IP address might not always be visible immediately on some interfaces, but it can be obtained by looking at the detailed DNS records, which are usually listed here too. And there you have it. By following these steps, you've managed to locate both the IP address and server name on Hostinger. It can seem a bit technical at first glance, but by methodically moving through each stage, you can manage these settings with confidence. Keep in mind that if you need to make any changes to these settings, do so with caution as incorrect configurations can affect the performance of your website. Thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you in the next video tutorial.